Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our AWS full tutorial series for beginners and today is the part 3 of this particular series where we'll learn how to get a free account on AWS. Now why is this particular episode extremely important? Because of two reasons. One, to learn to practice anything that we'll see from next episode, you want an account in the AWS so that you can learn, you can train, you can do hands-on activities. That's number one. The second step is because you don't want to use your corporate account, right? Or enterprise account for learning or trying purpose. That's too dangerous. So today's episode is important because we'll learn how to create a free account and how to start learning hands-on activities. Welcome back friends. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. And this is part of the Amazon Web Services full tutorial playlist. Today is the third episode where we'll learn how to create a free account. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, I recommend you please go through it. The playlist link is in the description box below. A quick word on AWS before we jumpstart on creating an account. So what's AWS? AWS is an Amazon's cloud web hosting platform that offers flexible, reliable, scalable, easy to use services. Right? Uh, it has over 200, 100 plus products and 200 plus services that we can avail, we can use to grow our business. All right. You know this introduction. I've already covered it in the first uh, part and the second part. Make sure you check it out. Now let's talk about creating a free account. Right. So AWS offers a free tire plan where we can get free access for 12 months to do our hands on experience, learning, practicing and making sure that we are confident and comfortable. The particular plan has various services ranging from around 75 to 80 services are there, uh, which are some of which are free forever. Some are free for 12 months and some are free for even shorter timeline. You can check with each of the respective service. I'll show you how to do that. Now, AWS will definitely ask you for your credit card or your bank account. And that's because if you exceed the quota of free tire of data usage terms, it will start billing you, right? It's extremely important to keep this in mind, all of us who are learning that we don't exceed the quota. Okay. We don't want to exceed our quota. We don't want to end up paying, getting a huge bill. Now, that being said, let me talk about little bit requirements and offerings from AWS and very simple thing, what you need to sign up. So we are looking at uh, AWS free tire, right? Uh, it has the 75 over 75 products, including some of the widely used services like EC2, S3, storage, media services, uh, machine learning, much, much more. It will ask you for a credit card and it will only bill you when you exceed the usage limits, right? Make sure you don't want to do that as a student because the bills would be really huge. So make sure that um, you don't jump your limits. So I'll teach you how to do that in control also. Uh, these products are free for 12 months. Some are free for always free. Some are for 12 months. Some are even for shorter terms. We'll see all of that. The next thing is the requirements. So what do you need? You need some basic personal information of yours. You need a phone number. You need an email address. You need a credit card, right? Now this information can be different for different countries, different regions. Okay. What I'm showing you here is some of the default ones, right? So if you are in a country, there might be some other requirement, but the sign up form or process would be more or less similar. All right. So that being said, let's get jump into action. Let's go and get our free account created. So to do that, we have to go to this website, https aws.amazon.com slash free. All right. So let's go to that free account and enter hit enter. And you would be taken to this page where it will say AWS free tire and then it would give you details. It's important to explore them and understand that. So if you see here, these are all the product categories that AWS offers, right? Now, if I say I want database service, right? So click on that and you would see you get these many details like 25 GB of DynamoDB, 750 hours of Elastic Cache two months of Redshift, which is free, right? And these are all the things which are available in your free tire, right? Now, if you exceed more than 25 GB, you will be billed. If you exceed more than 750 hours of RDS per month, you would be billed. Now, these are the limits, data limits and usage limits, right? 
Similarly, if you talk about storage like S3, right? So you can store up to 5 GB of standard storage, right? If you exceed more than 5 GB, you will be billed, right? If you exceed more than 50 GB of CloudFront, you will be billed. So make sure that you do not exceed these limits and else you'll end up paying big amounts, okay? But if you are following my tutorial, my series, I will make sure that we don't exceed more and we'll always be in limit. Do not try and do uh, something extra and you'll end up getting a big bill. OK, so that's important to make sure as a, as a student, I'm sure nobody wants to play, pay too much money. If you have too much money, please do let me know and I'll be happy to accept some donations. All right, that being said, let's get started into creating an account. So click on free, get a create a free account. All right, so it will bring you to this particular screen. Uh, so you'll go ahead, enter your details, right? You'll enter your email address, you'll enter your password, confirm password, AWS account. Now this is nothing but choose an account name, right? So whatever account name you want to choose, you choose and say continue. Um, and then let me show you. So I've already created an account, so I don't, I'm not do, going to do it again. But since you asked for it, um, I'm going to do something similar here. And I'm going, I'm, this is all fake details, so don't worry. Uh, I'm just showing it so that I can help you navigate through. All right, and then I'm going to choose. Okay, and your passwords do not meet, okay. All right, so enter the details, whatever details you want to enter, you can enter them. Click on next and then it will ask you what type of details it is. You want to have company name, phone number, country details and click check and create account. So just follow along the process. Uh, it would ask you for a credit card also details in the next step. Do that, fill up all the details, give the region details, postal details, uh, click next. It will take you to billing and then it will continue and it will say that your account is ready. Okay, so I'm not going to do this further because I've already done it and I've created my account. I would leave it up to you so that you can uh, get your site done, right? So I will let you know, let me know if you face any issue or problem in getting things up and running for you in the sign up process. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward. It may take up to sometimes if you, for verification, it may take I think three to five days in India. Uh, but if you provide credit card, I think it should be pretty fast. Um, so let me know if you have any issues because um, in the next episode, we will start learning about AWS. Uh, there is a mistake here. Sorry about that. Uh, in the next episode, we'll learn about the dashboard, the console and what it does, how, what are the various services, etc. All right. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining and that's it.